we got many people saying great things about us. Everyone loves to hate on Tesla and everyone hates Tesla. There's nothing new, but let's get the CEO of NVIDIA to kind of help you normies get well grounded in your feelings. Uh, uh, Elon talking about uh, the incredible infrastructure that he's building. And and um, uh, one of the things that's that's really revolutionary about about the the version 12 of, of uh, Tesla's uh, full self-driving is that it's an end-to-end -end generative model and it learns from watching videos surround video and it it learns about how to drive end-to-end uh, -end and generate using generative AI uh, uh, predict the next the, the path and the and the uh, how to steer the, the uh, uh, how to understand and how to steer the car and so the the technology is really revolutionary and the work that they're doing is in incredible thank you thank you the technology has always been revolutionary but thank you for realizing that. Now, that's not me saying it once again, because y'all going to get mad that I'm saying it. But let my brother Obama, shout out to OBs. I don't care what you think about him. I don't care about your political affiliation. The big homie, the one and only Obama was the one who approved the commercial industry of doing space expeditions and ventures. And so this is some film of Obama visiting SpaceX with Elon. And Obama, at that time, made a chance on SpaceX, took a chance, and a lot of people didn't agree with it. A lot of people were in their feelings, you know? Oh, me and NASA and the government should run it, not private corporations. A bunch of commies and socialists and fascists. They were a little bit angry. The commies were ultra angry. But Obese, President Obama, took a chance. I feel it's making a huge difference in space exploration. I'm uh, trying to make uh, space a lot more like aircraft. They're coming up soon? Yes. That's very exciting. It's a great partnership that we have here between NASA, the Air Force, the FAA. Thing. That's good enough. Yeah. John, FAA. We're going to have to get them involved. So, so the rocket uh, kind of yeah. puts that in a parking orbit. Okay. I love it. Obama's on the ground checking it out. Now, I'm pretty sure, like all presidents, he don't know what's going on. Trump talked about it, too. He was like, it was cool. The rocket went up and the rocket came back down with no wings. And I was like, what the heck? So Trump was kind of like, he don't know what's going on. But he was like, man, it was very cool. So that's two presidents from the opposite side. All right. Let's not talk about Biden. He be hating. Hi, sir. Go meet Rosa. Welcome to Cape Canaveral. How are you? I'm well, sir. Very well. Thanks for coming. Well, uh, our goal is to make a huge difference in space exploration. I'm trying to make uh, space a lot more like air travel. You know, if, if, if you think about it, it's been uh, yeah, from 1903 to 1969. From 1903, the Wright brothers first flew to 1969 for 66 years. It's not why well, nobody cares, man. They always try and sell you something. We 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 with Obama. Come on, I gotta get the premium. I gotta get the premium. The Air Force, uh, the FAA, SpaceX, it's a really a great commercial government balance here in the state of Florida as well as Princeton. So it's really right. made all of this happen very, very quickly. Right. Yeah. And the Air Force has been really helpful for us. So uh, I, 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 do, I do think uh, on, the, on the FAA side, right. just to there is a, uh, a revolution taking place, a big change taking place uh, in, in the NASA plans um, and commercial space flight. That means the business team matched up the FAA are on the, on the space side, which is, what is, it isn't currently. I do think that is a critical thing. Let's go to North. Yeah. Yeah. John? See, so Elon bringing it to Obama, like, look. Y'all not making sense. These two different agencies have an issue, whether it's NASA and the FAA, FAA, they need to have codes that are similar, right? There's a lot of regulation and that's okay. We're not saying that, that regulation is just bad because it's regulation, but a lot of things don't comply with each other. So they got to get on the same accord so that we can match things up and we can continue to push forward with this space exploration because this is the revolution. So with the revolution comes regulation. 
And so they're going to have to be up to speed and up to breast because the regulations can deter innovation a lot of the times. And hey, you know, Elon's like, hey, Obama. Then Obama's like, hey, man, I have your people call my people. I'm going to get that man's. Uh, have a uh, John's da da da. You know, if I was the press, now, you know, I'm not the press, but if I was the press, I'd be like, oh, really? Get them on the line. Get them on the phone right now. I put them on FaceTime if they got that. <laughs> you know, maybe they got more secret program for the government. Put that buster on FaceTime and let's get it done right now. Let's open up a conference call and hammer out these details. FAA, we're going to have to get them involved. Okay. There you go. Have you met uh, John Olver, my national... Uh, National science, national science. Very nice to meet you. And, uh, national science, national science. Uh, I'm assuming you know. Yes, yes, absolutely. Nice to meet you. Okay, that's terrific. And he never met that guy. So that's an L for that guy right there on the left. The lot, the guy on the left, that's an L for you. If you don't know Elon, if you never went down there and shake their hands, you need to become active, all right? You got ketchup on your shirt. No, he don't. But you got to get active, guy. All right, you should know Elon already. He's out here doing it. So the uh, so the, uh, was construction actually done uh, in, here in this bank? Yes. This, this, uh, this, this, this is where we did the, the, the final assembly of the rocket in the okay. Um So the, the manufacturing is currently done in California, right? Um, and uh, and then we do uh, our testing of the, of the engines in Texas, and then it comes here to the Cape final assembly. Um, and this is an old Air Force launch pad circuit. Was excess over to SpaceX. Great partnership. And, and this is before Starbase in Texas, so they were still sending things out to Florida actually launch. But I want you guys to take note that all that was in America. Oh, shout out to Elon once again. Yeah, to be able to, to provide them with a great capability to build a shared plan here for long-term lease. So, the, uh, so the, uh, what's been the biggest challenge in terms of uh, getting uh, getting a Falcon or uh, well, it, the whole rocket's been built from the ground up, so that it, it's difficult to say that any one particular challenge has been greater than the others because we've developed the engines, the structures, the avionics, the launch operations, all from uh, from scratch, basically. Right. All from scratch, ground up. It wasn't like that before. We needed the Russians. We needed god dang aliens from space. We needed area, aliens from Area 51 in order to do what we had to do. But now it's all ground up. It's all Americans. It's all these engineers. It's all America. Shout outs to us. Uh, I do think some some of the regulatory uh, stuff is is has been been challenging, um, and and that's where I think the, the, the biggest need is to to make to make changes. All right. Yes, sir. And our number one concern, of course, is public safety, and uh, we've been doing the best we can, but uh, you know, public safety is non-negotiable. Absolutely. Yeah. Man, be quiet. Me, our number one concern is public safety. Man, let Elon do what he got to do. Right? He he trying to counterbalance that with you know well our number one concern is safety all right dude and, and it ain't over here too we got the safest safest cars in usa what you got what you got you know what i'm saying what you got to prove that you secured safety now i'm joking i'm joking i'm not hating on the government in, in some places well, absolutely. We, we don't want yeah. the, a rocket landing on anybody's head. And you got it, sir. <laughs> right. It. And we absolutely agree with that. I mean, our goal is, is to, to make a, a much more reliable vehicle, first right. of all, and secondly, to make a, a big improvement. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Because we out here doing it. All right. So you can you can laugh and got the sniggles and giggles. But we out here actually creating the safest car. What you doing again? What's your name? Hello. Nice to meet you. So I think the idea is... Uh, that this would help to uh, supply the space mission. That's correct. Um, so um, we've already been selected by NASA to, uh, to, to perform the cargo transport function that the space shuttle was performing. Right. And that, that uh, decision was made about a year and a half ago. Right. Um, yeah. Leslie Woods. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Brian Marcel. Good to see you, sir. How are you? So it's hard to see what they're saying because they're outside. 
big breakthrough that's needed with Rock Street is a, a truly reusable rocket. You know, if we're if we're to make a revolution in space, it's got to be reusable. If you think about any mode of transport, bicycle, plane, everything. It's just too expensive to, you know, have a disposable. Exactly. Yeah. And, and yeah, thus far, it's, it's, it's been an elusive dream in, in space to, to create a truly reusable rocket. That's what we're going to try to do with that. Just a dream. Just a dream. And later on, he would deliver. Anybody saying that uh, you follow Elon and your fanboy guys, don't get discouraged by normies, all right? They haven't brushed their teeth. But what I want you to understand is a man who was dreaming, scheming, plotting, and actually delivering, it doesn't make any sense. What you see on the screen is delivery. It's not words saying what you think you could or woulda, shoulda, coulda, or what you have planned or what could happen in the future. It's right here happening. That rocket is real. And that's it landing. See, the first three times the launch didn't complete the final stage of splashdown, and the media had nothing but giggles, snickering. But now they're actually landing it. Splashdown of not only the booster, but also the rocket. Here comes the rocket, lighting up, firing. People didn't think it was going to work out. It's on fire. The camera goes black, but it lands. That is innovation right there, guys. Shout outs to USA. Much love to Obama for believing in a dream and a chicken wing. And thanks to the employees at SpaceX that made it happen and Elon leading the charge from the front. I appreciate you guys for being here and I'll see you on the next installment of Everyone Hates Tesla. I'm just coming with receipts driven. Don't come with your feelings.